All right, today we are going to be estimating decimals. Now, you've already done estimating earlier in this chapter with rounding, and rounding is involved in here. But there's also front-end estimation, and I want to make sure that we are getting this front-end estimation correct. So I'm going to need you to pay close, close attention. Put everything else away, okay? Now, with the front-end estimation, they are giving you a problem on here. estimation we know that as when it, you say front end this is the front end now the way that they are doing front end estimation is they are taking that and they are going to make it into this you're going to have nine dollars eight dollars one dollar right aren't those the front numbers right here nine nine eight eight one one no rounding them I'm not changing them I know there's a five here but that doesn't make it a ten front end you don't touch them okay so we have the nines here then they're wanting you to look at the next part the next part, let's see, we'll do red, is this part, which you have 59, you have 92, and you have 45, okay? Now, the way that they do these is that you are going to round those to the nearest dollar in this case okay so this one is going to round to one dollar because it's above 50 cents so it's going to round up to a dollar this one is almost a dollar as it is and this one is going to round to zero because it's under 50 cents so it's closer to zero than it is the 50. Now, if I were to add these front ends, I would have one and, one and eight is nine, nine and nine is 18. The other way that I like to do it is one and nine is 10, 10 plus eight is 18, okay? Once you get to those tens, it's easy to add in. Now, over here, I've got one dollar, one dollar, which is two. Eighteen plus two is twenty. Okay, so the front end estimation would be twenty dollars. Now, if I did it with rounding, I'm going to go the other way for rounding. This would round to what? to the nearest dollar, round to $10. This one would round to nine, and this one rounds to one. Here's my thing again where I have one and one, or one and nine is 10, 10 and 10 is 20, whoops, 20. You both get the same answer for it, okay? Now, I'm gonna do another problem for you. Let's do,
just in case you aren't paying attention. That's number one, one in your book. Now, front end. What are my front end numbers? Nine Jackson? And five. Nine and five. So if I add those two together, I'm gonna end up with 14, correct? I'm not worrying about rounding or anything else. Just the front end numbers. Now I gotta look at these ones behind it. 75, where would that go towards 100? It would go to 100. So I'm going to have 75, and I'm also going to have the 47. You're saying that they go to, this one goes to 100. This one goes to zero. zero. So if I have, this is basically 1,400, because this is the hundreds column, right, Jackson? This is the hundreds column, so I got 14 of them. In other words, I got 1,400. And now I have plus one more hundred. I'm gonna end up with 1,500. Okay? What they're doing is they want you to add the front digits. Okay, this is front end estimation. Okay, they're wanting you to add the front digits and then round the digits behind it. Okay, when you add the front digits, you don't touch them, you take them just as they are. That's it. Okay, so if it's a one, stays a one. I don't care if it's 1.99, it's still one, okay? Stays the same. So front end, you're gonna add the front, then round the next number. Add For your answer. So what we did here was we took the front numbers and added them. We got 18. These are the front numbers. We didn't care what was behind them. We just put zeros there. We added and we got 18. Then we rounded the next numbers. Yes, 59, we rounded it to a dollar. Round of 92 to a dollar, 45 back to zero. That's what we were doing here was the nearest dollar. So you're gonna round these back parts to the nearest dollar or the nearest whole number. You're gonna get an answer. Then you add 18 and the two to get your final answer. That's how the front end estimation is done, okay? It's a little bit longer of a process than what the just direct rounding is and adding. Okay, now if I did add this, let's see, five and two is seven, plus nine is 16, carry the one, one and nine is 10, five and four is nine, so I know that's 19. Here I got 10 and 9, 19.96 is the actual answer. What are the estimates that we got for it? 20 and 20, using rounding and using front end. Today, you are using rounding and you are using front end, okay, in your problems. When they say estimate, okay, they're not wanting a complete answer. They're not wanting this, okay? 
This is the actual answer. This is an estimate. This is an estimate. Okay? So when they're saying estimate, about how many kids are in here? Well, it's about 15. Or there's about 20. Okay? Those are estimates. It's not saying that there's 16 in here. 16 is a exact answer. And they don't want that. Now, problems to look out for. 9 through 22. Estimate each sum or difference. What's a sum? Addition answer. An addition answer. And a difference, Kelly? Subtraction. Subtraction answer. Look at the sign. Okay? Don't be subtracting on when there's an addition sign. And don't be adding when there's a subtraction sign. Okay? Make sure you look at the sign. These problems. In your composition book, you are going to have to write them down. What I want written down is what your estimate is. So in other words, I don't want the problem like this. I want the problem like this written down. Or if it's rounding, round whatever it is that you're rounding to, put that down, and then your answer. Because some of these answers may vary when we go over them tomorrow. They may be off just a little bit. But if you can prove how you did it and you rounded correctly, I can accept that answer. But if you didn't round correctly, then we can find out where you rounded wrong. Okay? You can look at it and find out. Okay? Make sense? I don't want the answer, I don't want the book problems written down. I want what you rounded to, then add it or subtract it. Okay? Um, you have that work to do, and then you have your blue binder to do. Okay?